Come on! Yeah! Yeah! You ever have one of those moments where you could have sworn that you remembered reading something that someone said that you found really cool or interesting and you've repeated it to multiple people, but then when you go back to look it up for yourself, you can't even find where you read it and you start to think that maybe it was something you subconsciously made up? That was happening to me for a while. I was talking to some friends the last time we played GTA Online before Fall Guys became our new thing, and I mentioned how I could have sworn that Leslie Benzies mentioned something about an expanding world, something to do with GTA Online, or something of that nature. And with the news of GTA Online getting a new location later this year, I thought, hey, that perfectly fits in with what he was saying. Even if he's no longer at the studio, it's still an idea that they've obviously been holding on to, provided that this new location isn't going to be something like a new skyscraper. I couldn't find where he said this, though, even though I thought I read it in an interview. And thankfully, fellow YouTuber Gypsy saved the day when, out of the blue, he sent me this link, a Digital Trends article from 2012 by Adam Rosenberg. He got in touch with Rosenberg, and it turned out that the link was broken after his site redesign, but it's back up now, and I've included a link to it in the description of this video. Now, here's a question that Rosenberg asked him that I really wanted to focus on right now. Rosenberg asked, Any chance that Vice City might return in a future GTA? Benzies responded with, It is always a possibility. There are a few references to the city in our current-gen GTAs, so it is part of that HD universe and it is certainly somewhere we would love to revisit. However, Vice City, perhaps more than any other GTA game, was as much about the era as the setting. Miami in the 1980s is so iconic that it would feel strange to revisit the city in a different time period. Of course, at some point, we would like to have one big world containing all of our cities, and let the player fly between them and revisit their favorite areas, and in that context, reimagining Vice City would be very interesting. And that's a very interesting statement from Mr. Benzies. Seriously, I mean, I know he's no longer with Rockstar, and I know that it was not exactly a healthy separation between the two, but this just goes to show the mindset that he had at the time in his last year or so at Rockstar. Now let's unpack what he had to say in order. First, he said that there's always a possibility that Vice City could return. And I'd say that's pretty much a given at this point, seeing as how we got HD recreations of Liberty City and Los Santos, I think Vice City was always going to be a possibility. In fact, I remember when everybody thought that GTA 5 was going to be in Vice City, just because even Liberty City being redone was considered evidence that Rockstar were going to be remaking all of their old cities. But I think people maybe thought that they'd be going in the same order that they went in for the 3D era, which is obviously not the case but they're also clearly not against remaking old locations. So this shouldn't be too surprising, but what some of you might find surprising is how he stated that revisiting Vice City in another era besides the 1980s would be strange. He says this because the 1980s was a pretty iconic time period for Miami. Think Scarface and Miami Vice, one of the many iconic crime drama films and one of the biggest TV shows in the 1980s, both revolving around Miami, the drug trade, and everything in between. And don't forget that while the characters and most events depicted in Scarface and Miami Vice might have been fictional, they all took inspiration from things that were happening in Miami in real life back then. So the entire basis of Vice City is pretty much a product of a specific place and time. Would it work well in a different time period? And do you think Rockstar would ever go back to the 1980s? I want to know what you think, but I might as well share my opinion on this as well. I'll say this right off the bat, and I know I've said it before, but you'll hear it here again. I want Vice City as the next location for GTA, as for whether or not it's in the 80s, though, I think a modern setting could be done, but with a lot of changes. For starters, I think they'd need to focus on more locations than just Vice City. It should be the whole state of Florida, and it should focus on something like modern drug crime or something of that nature. Even though it's not the 1980s anymore, it's not like drug crime stopped, but it's obviously going to be far different from what was going on in the 80s and what's already been portrayed by popular media. Of course, if given the choice between modern-day Vice City and 80s Vice City, I would rather see it in the 1980s again. That was such a special decade overall, and I think that most of the 3D-era GTAs, as well as Red Dead Redemption, show that Rockstar are at their absolute best when they strive to capture a specific time period and make the players feel like they've actually traveled in time back to that era. They managed to nail so many aspects that they really make you feel like you're in the 1980s, or the 1990s, or the 1890s. 
Couple that with what Dan Hauser said about it being hard to parody things that are going on today, and you'd have the perfect recipe for another period piece GTA. Too bad neither of these guys are working there anymore, though. As much as I love the idea, I honestly wouldn't hold my breath on anything at this point. And that's not me saying, yeah, they're gonna ruin GTA, but we just don't know what the people who are in charge now in place of them have planned. I feel like things go in a bunch of different directions now. Possibly an online direction. Who the hell knows? Anyway, I digress. Back to Benzies. He also said something about being able to travel between cities in one big world, with every place they've ever made all in one experience. That would honestly be pretty cool, and that's where I realized, hey, we're getting a new location in GTA Online, aren't we? Now, am I saying that I think the new location might be Vice City? Absolutely not, and I wouldn't expect it to be Vice City. Not yet, anyway. I was talking with a friend of mine the other night about ways that GTA Online could be possibly integrated into GTA 6 because, let's face it, whether you like it or not, online is here to stay. But if GTA Online was ever to become a separate game while the main GTA 6 is kept as story mode only, maybe this is where we could see Benzie's vision come to life. Let's say theoretically that the next location is Vice City. GTA 6 comes out, and then anyone who bought it gets access to the new version of GTA Online for free. The new version of GTA Online will still have Vice City, but it'll also have Los Santos as an online exclusive location, of course. Players can then fly back and forth between the two maps, and they'd have things to do in both places, essentially being the start of one big GTA world. Is it ambitious? Of course. But could the next-gen consoles handle it? Maybe. Would you want to see something like that? I think that's up for you to decide, I'm not going to put words in your mouth. There's one more thing I wanted to add to this, and this has to do with what Leslie Benzies is up to now at his new studio that he runs, Build Rocket Boy Games. As you probably know, his team are working on a game called Everywhere, or that's the working title at least. We know it's going to be an open world game, it's described as being very different from GTA, but all about freedom. And it's apparently meant to be a massive game. I wonder if maybe this is where Benzies is going to see through his original vision for an expanding world, considering how he's no longer at Rockstar. Whatever Rockstar does or doesn't do with a potential expanding open world could possibly be attempted at Benzies' new studio instead. Maybe, if or when this game does come out, it could have gradual updates to expand the playable area, which is something a lot of people would probably appreciate, I'm sure. But given the very obvious secrecy between both entities, who knows what either could be working on, but it's going to be interesting to see what both come out with in the future. So overall, what do you think about what Benzies had to say from this article? Do you think Vice City works best in the 1980s only, or do you think we could see it set in another era? And would you want a GTA of any kind, whether it's online or not, featuring every city they've ever made in one huge open world? Kind of like an official HD version of the GTA Underground mod. Let me know what you think. Thanks again to Gypsy for the heads up that this article does in fact exist, and thanks to Adam Rosenberg for interviewing Benzies and asking him some great questions. And an especially big thanks to those of you who have pledged your support for my channel on Patreon. I cannot thank you all enough. Also, I do Twitch streams. Why don't you check me out sometime? You know you want to watch me play video games. Seriously though, I am streaming Mafia Definitive Edition once that comes out. Just come join me, it'll be fun.